Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's time for another comic book haul. Um, I have some more online auction winnings, and I went to a toy and collectible show again and found somebody that was selling comics. So I picked some up, and I thought I would share them with everybody. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, though, is go through the auction, um, <clears throat> the online auction uh, books that I picked up. Um, again, these are ones where I bought random lots and picked and choose what um, comics I wanted to get out of the lot. Um, so these first couple of books here ended up being 68 cents a piece <clears throat> when uh, you factor in what I paid for the lot. So first up is uh, a Bronze Age Amazing Spider-Man number 190 uh, facing off there against the Man-Wolf. Um, so I got that one for 68 cents. I got the Incredible Hulk 233 for 68 cents. Um, a Random Master of Kung Fu, number 63. Um, Marvel Premiere, number 19. What is this, like the fourth appearance of Iron Fist <clears throat> for 68 cents? Number 17. That's the third appearance. Uh, here's number 20 for 68 cents. They're not in the greatest condition, but, um, you know, for, for the price. Uh, here's number 25. Then there was an Iron Fist number 5 of his regular ongoing series. <clears throat> then the next batch here, these were 87 cents a piece in the lot. So I got DC Superstars number 1 featuring the Teen Titans. Uh, four Star Spectacular, number one. Um, Flash, number 242. Defenders, number 37. And Captain Marvel, number 45. So those were my all my uh, online pickups this time around. Um, again, I buy, I pick these random lots and there's, you know, like quite a bit of comics in there and I look at the pictures and, um, some of them strike my fancy and I bid on them. And then if I win them, I win them. If I don't, I don't. So, um, so 68 cents and 87 cents really, I mean, you really can't go wrong. Now the next batch here is the stuff that I picked up at this um <clears throat> excuse me toy and collectible show i went there hoping that somebody would have comics and there were a couple of guys in there that were selling comics you know usually when you go to toy and collectible show there's um records a lot this one this toy and collectible show had a lot of people selling like playboy magazines and like uh men's magazines that i never really see at comic book shows but anyway um the first thing i picked up i was walking around i never saw this before it's uh, called the Wally Wallace Wood Treasury. Um, it's I forget who put this out, but anyway, I picked this up for ten bucks. It's pretty cool. It's a not a retrospective, but it's got reprints of some of uh, Wally Wood's um, classic artwork and stories from his career. So um, picked that up, and of course there's people selling magazines again. So and I really lucked out because. Um, I picked up a couple of vampire tales. There was a guy there that was like, he was just trying to make money for the holiday. So he's like, just make me an offer. And, um, I picked up all of these magazines here. These were, um, $6 or $7 a piece. So I got vampire tales again. Um, I forget, is this number this? I think that's number five, I think. And then here's number three. And then I got number another issue of number two. Um, the first appearance is Satana. So um, again, I, I made him an offer. I think I think I said twenty dollars for all three, and he took it. So that's probably um, a little little under seven dollars a piece. So I was happy for that. He also had um, somebody had this thing. I never saw this before, but um, Spider Man and the Zoids. Uh, it's oops, it's from. Um, 1986, and it just has a cool picture of Spider-Man in his black costume, his symbiote costume. So I thought that looked interesting. I picked that one up for a dollar. And then I there's another guy here. 
he was selling, he had a bunch of stuff that was, um, like, not cheap, but it was reasonable, too. Like, I picked this really nice copy of the Defenders number 10. This is part of the Defenders Avengers War. Um, picked that one up for 10 bucks. It's, like, it's in beautiful shape. And then these are hard to find, and this is a really nice copy of this, too. The Flintstones, Hanna-Barbera's Flintstones from uh, the 70s Marvel version of the... Um, comics that they did and also this guy had Hanna Barbera's Yogi Bear number one which is a really good uh, condition um, copy and it's like I don't know uh, if he knew how hard these are to find or what and especially like this one this one used to be um, pretty pricey but he only had ten dollars on it so I scooped it up and then the rest of the books here are all dollar comics <clears throat> as is usually my thing when I go to these shows and again like there was guys is like just make the one guy, I had a whole handful of comics, and he's like, just give me $10. So um, it was probably under a dollar, but I I don't know. I'm just going to say everything is a dollar here. Um, Black Panther number one. This is the um, version that they gave out at the IMAX, I think, when the movie came out. Um, this looked interesting. Never saw it before. Black's Myth number one. Um, I'll always pick up first issues, um, even if I don't know anything about them. Uh, Batman and FaZe Clan, number one. That was something uh, a little while ago. I don't know. StarCraft Soldiers, number one. This is a variant cover. Um, the kid had $2 on it, but like I said, most of this stuff is all a dollar. Um, Batgirl, number one. The Adam Hughes cover for a dollar. Um, the Unknowns, number one. That was these that that was under a dollar too. That was from the guy that had a whole. He just said, "Give me ten dollars." Um, Lola, XOXO number one. A nice Spider-Man number one homage. Uh, cliffhanger or Wizard Zero Cliffhanger Zero, whatever you want to call it. This has a uh, previews for Danger Girl, Battle Chasers, and whatever that thing is. Uh, Giga number one, a nice Shogun Warriors. Um, <clears throat> homage cover, comic reader number 178 from 1980. Just pick that up. I like picking these up and uh, seeing what's going on back in the day. Um, Vampirella number four, Vampirella number 19, number 20, number two. Gold Digger Summer Fun Special, number one. Sonic Super Special, number seven, where Sonic uh, meets the image uh, superheroes. Uh, Turtle Adventures, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures, number six. And number seven. And then number 58. So those were all a dollar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Christar, or the Saga of Christar, number one. Um, pick that one up. Madam Xanadu, number one. The Power of Warlock, number 14. Second appearance of Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel, number two. Um... This is the first tor Storm Chaser. Mighty Thor. Uh, Requiem for Dracula, number one. Troll Patrol from Harvey Comics, number one. Always grab those kids' comics, ish first issues. Um, <clears throat> never heard of this, but it's by Josh Whedon from Dark Horse. Sugar Shock, number one. Uh, Perm Woman. This is... I believe the first issue, number one, never heard of it. Uh, this was just a cool uh, cover, Doctor Strange, number 14. Um, Vengeance of Vampirella, number six, nice photo cover. <clears throat> and last but not least, Alien Worlds, number one from Pacific Comics. So, 
Uh, that's what I picked up this time from the show and the online auctions. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit, hit the like button. Um, and also, um, if you don't subscribe to my channel uh, and you, if you want to uh, consider subscribing, please do. I'd like to thank all <clears throat> of the subscribers I do have. I really appreciate you guys, and I really appreciate anybody that just checks out my channel, either, even if it's just once or twice. Um, I just like sharing with the community stuff that I pick up and to let you know that there's deals out there if you just want to look around for them. Um, this is not a speculator channel, so if you're looking for me to tell you what I think is going to be hot or whatever, it's you're on the wrong channel. Go look at some other some other people's channels. Um, this is just a channel for the love of comics, and if you love comics, I'm more than happy to have you come check out the stuff that I pick up. A lot of this stuff is random, um, but um, I just like comics. I've been collecting them forever, um, and I like going in and picking up new stuff that I can uh, discover and read. Uh, also, I am on Instagram. Check me out, easy as can be, with the underscores there on Instagram. I post stuff uh, pretty much weekly. And other than that, again, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I hope everybody had a nice holiday. Um, look forward to the new year ahead. <clears throat> uh, if you ever get a chance, go back and check out some of my other videos. I've got quite a few uh, backlog um, I've been doing it for three years now, ever since the pandemic. So check those out if you uh, if you feel so inclined. Uh, but other than that, again, thanks everybody for watching. And I will see you all next time. Good luck out there hunting for comics.